Good morning. Heading to Scottsdale today. Got a nice flight going to the seminar I've mentioned briefly before, the Growth Partnership through the Partner Institute. It's a uh, three-year program we go through with the same class. It's all people who are kind of either early young partners or about to be partners. Learn how to, in the first year, manage ourselves. Second year, manage others. Third year, market and grow the firm and kind of intermixed all those topics throughout as we go. But first, on the road, right now it's 9.27 a.m., got a 9.30 phone call with a prospective client talking about setting up a corporation, so we're gonna get that on the, the ride. And it's a beautiful day, should be beautiful weather in Arizona, mid 80s tomorrow, uh, which kind of bummed about actually, I'm enjoying the fall, but uh, we'll jump on the call shortly here. May we all know that nothing ain't cool Tyler McBroom, how are you? Excellent. I'm fantastic. Just driving down the road to the airport. So if you've already, you've already formed the corporation, what we'd want is a copy of your corporate book and to take a look and make sure that it's set up properly so that you have all your minutes and bylaws, all that stuff documented so that it actually gives you legal protection and isn't just, uh, isn't just a paper corporation because a lot of people think they're all protected just because they go on legal zoom and form a corporation that doesn't always mean that doesn't always uh, isn't always the case because you've got to make sure you've got your minutes and bylaws and, and formal corporate documents all all in place and so we we'll want to make sure we take a look at that and, and get that set up correctly if it's not. Either email me a copy if you have it without social security numbers on it, or you can upload it to our website and then I'll get an alert and you can, and then uh, I can download it securely. A smart way to do it is starting out with a clean set of books. And so once you get that set up, we could do the books for you if you if you'd like and we basically it's based on volume of transactions our minimum fee starts at 250 dollars a month and goes up from there so it just it depends on you know where you're at of if that's in your budget but having a clean set of books makes money for you because you don't miss out on deductions from a bad set of books great well thank you so much yeah, I'm glad uh, you introduced us. Looking forward to hopefully meeting you at the next M1 event and then also uh, working together and getting you uh, dialed in for taxes and books. So just jumped off that call. He caught a couple bits and pieces. We'll see what Andy cuts in there on that. But he was just starting a business out and wanting to talk about how to set things up as as he's starting. And that's one of the best pieces of advice I can give someone who's thinking about starting a business is instead of waiting a couple years and then trying to get your act together once you've made money, starting with a clean set of books and a good tax plan from the get-go is gonna save you so much money in taxes and headache and help you grow your business because you're not gonna spend hours frustrated with the books you're gonna be able to focus on growing your business. So getting things set up on autopilot and a good tax plan in place from the beginning is a really wise idea when you're starting a business out. the Sacramento airport had a good productive drive it was actually all phone calls after we got off the phone with the prospective client had a couple back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back client phone calls to address and delegate work to the office while we're traveling so that was good <clears throat> we're here on time with plenty to spare which is good because the 
parking lot seemed to be full. There were maybe three or four spots left. So we're gonna go in, probably get some early lunch and then hop on a flight. And we'll see you in Scottsdale. The way that works, you don't get a check in the mail, but when you file your tax return, you're, you're in, in the, uh, the threshold where you pay more than 9,000 in tax. So you'd just get, if your tax bill is 20,000, you'd get nine grand knocked off of that. So you'd only have an $11,000 tax bill. So this year, instead of cutting, I forget how much of a check you, you know, $1,000 or so to the IRS, you would have gotten an $8,000 refund instead. You get your business card on your Uber app or Lyft or whatever else you use. And you're, tra you're traveling, get that on your business card so that you make sure you pick that up as an expense. So we are here in Phoenix. Had a, well, not a smooth flight. We had an early flight. We arrived about 10, 15 minutes early. We got a lot of bumps along the way. I personally can enjoy some good turbulence. Uh, like Andy and I were talking, it's kind of like you're getting a roller coaster in there. So waiting for our Uber right now, Lincoln MKZ, about a half hour ride to the airport or the uh, resort, and then meet up with some of my classmates, and then we'll be enjoying the evening. Sunny in eighties, but yeah, it's been like this since the morning. Oh really? Fifteen minutes of fame ain't gonna be what makes us and breaks us, but we'll all be watching the TV. What's up? We're at the Weston Kierland Resort and Spa. Found out we got a twenty-four hour gym so we can get our fitness on while we're enhancing our minds, enhance our bodies also. There's our view of lovely Scottsdale and going to go meet some of the, the guys that we that I am a, a part of this program with down in the lobby, get some food, maybe some drinks, and we'll see what happens. Hey, shady baby, come hot, light the prodigal sun. Big up at the lini, mini, mini. Kodo sushi. Kodo sushi. All right, so you're an eight-minute drive. Yeah. Or a one-hour walk. Or a one-hour walk. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I need some exercise. Oh, no, I've already done that. That ain't good. Did you guys walk or drive? So Andy missed the bagpipes. We were literally, like, literally right there. You can't see it because it's dark. For an hour, uh, there was a guy playing bagpipes in our ear about 15 feet away. So now we're hanging out, having drinks. About to go to dinner. These are fun-loving CPAs. We're the, we're the fun the CPAs. Backpack. Yeah, fun CPAs. <laughs> the fun CPAs. Although I have a slight admission, I'm not even a CPA. Yeah, here we go. And then they got this bar right here, Doc's watering hole. Yeah, I can. Okay. Good framing. Here, why don't you hold the phone? Ooh, you're gonna hold the phone? So we just had some good uh, bagpiping session, like I mentioned downstairs. Had a good some chats with the guys uh, on in the uh, program. Coming up, changing, gonna go out to dinner. We're gonna leave the camera behind. Just enjoy the evening. Day one travel day of the growth partnership session is over. Excited to dive into tomorrow. It's gonna to be all about networking skills. So we'll see what uh, new skills and uh, knowledge we gain from that. Looking forward to sharing it with you and having fun tonight. So we'll see you next time.